I think the first thing when you think about the, you know, the storyline is, is, you know, a football game can come down to two, three, four plays. You never know what plays are going to make the difference uh, between winning and losing. I think if you just over look at the flavor of the game, the component of the game, we didn't do a good job offensively at taking advantage of our field position. Five times we had the ball at the 50 or going in in their territory, and we came away with zero points. Uh, I thought we played. Uh, well enough. I thought we played extremely well on defense to win the football game. Uh, but again, we didn't make critical plays at critical junctures, even as well as we played defensively. You know, the end of the half there, you know you're going to get a double move. You can't give that up. You know, special teams, uh, you know, we have a lot of freshmen playing on special teams and, you know, they got to understand it's all about being in the moment. And, you know, one, one play where you're not focused uh, and don't understand, all of a sudden it can change the complexion of the game. You know, we had two catastrophic things happen on our punt return team in terms of the fake and then obviously the, uh, the end of the game situation where we're just trying to make a play. But really proud of our players. Uh, I think what you see is a competitive grit. And, uh, you know, we, have an op we had an opportunity to win the football game. We got it to a one possession game. You know, so again, proud of our players. Uh, but we got to learn, we got to move on, we got to forget it quick. We got a great team coming in, the Centennial Bank on Saturday, and we got to learn and we got to continue to move forward. Coach, it's easy to look at the things that went wrong. You just said a competitive grit. This is a night and day difference from what we saw this time last year. Well, there's a reason why their coaches came to our locker room and uh, you know how far we've come in a short period of time and it's all about the players but the competitive grit you know we now expect to win every time we take the field uh, there's a very high standard and we came up short and we got to learn from it but i can't say enough about our players and uh, they're giving us everything that we have we have guys that you know are playing through injuries that in the past would have never played and uh, this is a connected football team but we have to have a short-term memory we have to learn from it and we have to get ready to go with Texas State coming into the bank. What has clicked for you guys defensively over the past couple of weeks? I think it's team defense. You know, I think uh, the effort, the ability to get off blocks. Uh, we're not giving up explosive plays. Uh, we're making a team earn, you know, every yard that they get. Um, but I think we're getting population to the football. We're leveraging the football better. And for the most part, we're tackling better, and, and the key to playing great defense is the ability to get off blocks and tackle, particularly tackle in space. Webb had that big run there in the first half, and after that, you guys seemed to adjust it well and had one other little kind of short yardage run that got out there. But other than that, you guys uh, really came in and, and backed him off a little bit. Well, again, this is a very talented football team. There's a reason why some picked them to, to win our side. Uh, but again, it's all about winning and winning football games, and we got to learn from it. But again, I thought defensively we played well enough to win. It's a line of scrimmage game. I thought we did a good job, really, for the most part of gap integrity. Uh, but it, you know, also complementary football, as well as we played on defense. You know, they answered our scores, and again, to gain momentum, and particularly on the road. You know, once you score, you got to be able to generate a three and out and get off the field. So, so many things uh, to learn from, but also, you know, a lot of positive things in moving forward. Jalen dealt with some pressure early, but I mean, that last drive where you know, fourth and eight has the confidence to go to Jeff. I mean, just, you know, just what, what do you think was working for him on that last drive, you know, especially working with tempo there? Well, I think, you know, he stood in the pocket. You know, I thought uh, it was a gutsy performance by him. You know, they're a defense that's front activated. Uh, he saw more pressure today than probably he has in all his games combined. Uh, so the speed of the game when you play quality defenses like this kind of accelerates a little bit. Uh, but I thought he was able to hang in the pocket. And, you know, it shows you fourth and eight. You know, he puts the ball in a catchable situation and Jeff goes up, high points the football, and then we're able to convert the two-point conversion to get it to a one-score game. Zach Wallace just week after week to really these past three, four weeks. Seems like he's really turned it on. Well, I think, again, he's another individual who's extremely competitive, and that's what our football team is right now. And, again, uh, pissed that we didn't win the football game, obviously, but also proud of our players 
uh, with the competitive grit and how far we've come in a short period of time. But now we need to start winning games like this to continue to move forward. But again, uh, already looking forward to Saturday with a great, great challenge with one of the best teams coming into our stadium. We're going to need a home field advantage, uh, you know, to get them in. And there's something to be said about being at home where we're going to need everyone. You mentioned the opposing coaches just going to visit you guys in the locker room. I mean, just what was that message that, that was shared? And, you know, just, just to look, you know, last year against South Alabama compared to this year. I think just a level of respect. You know, everyone knows how far we've come in a very short period of time, but we still have a long ways to go. But again, you know, if you watch this game, you see a football team that has a competitive will, a competitive grit, however you want to call it. But again, you know, we live in a week to week season. So we have to work to play our best football on Saturday. That's what it's going to take. Coach, you mentioned the word pissed, and I guess that's a good way to describe what I saw in the players' eyes. And you know, past couple of years, it hasn't been that way when guys walked off the field after a loss. You know, there's a lot of guys, not trying to throw anybody under the bus by any means, but there were guys that seemed like they just didn't care. That isn't what I saw out of this team. There's a lot of investment. Uh, there's a lot of investment in our program from our players and they want to win and they expect to win and that's what you like to see now how do we move forward and again we expect to, to win football games like this we expect to be able to go on the road and win and that's that always be the standard we talk about playing to a standard and an expectation and we didn't meet that standard tonight but a lot of good things to continue to improve upon i love our players i love their grit i love how far we've come and uh you know i'm proud to coach them and so now we have a quick turnaround and we have to be ready to go and it's all about our preparation for next week.